do you believe that crypto is going to be this force that helps things decentralize or do you believe that yeah, absolutely yeah. absolutely yeah so so I, I i could give you the full sort of uh rundown of all the different cryptocurrencies that are exciting to me but to me personally zero of it has to do with money so i uh like financial um what do you call it investment Right. So, so a lot of people, that's part of the problems of the space is a lot of people just want to make money and they, they want to make a quick buck. So they, they their excitement is exaggerated by the fact that they're invested in a particular coin. Because big believer in crypto space means something else because there's really big believers in the crypto space. I'm one of them. I think there's certain uh, cultish aspects to cryptocurrency supporters where they're not able to see, um, not always able to, approach things with humility and open mind. Well, that's so why that, you need humor, right? That's why yeah. we need to also poke fun at things. Yeah, like, yeah. That's what people don't realize the value in that. The value in like not taking yourself so seriously. And so to me, what's interesting is the different technologies involved and they're amazing. So explain briefly to people that are unaware of what blockchain technology is because maybe they have not come in contact with anyone who has made it their business to yell at them for 10 hours about it. Well, it's, it's, it's a pretty tough task. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's basically a database. Right. It's a way to store data in a way that cannot be uh, falsified or um, sort, of, um, a, sort of attacked and falsified and faked and changed by anybody because there's a lot of people that have a consensus mechanism that are monitoring and have full access to that data. And that, so blockchain just means store of data uh, that has a, a temporal component. So it's, there's a sequence to it and nobody can modify it. Okay. And so like, this is like secure, uh, reliable in the way that physical reality is secure and reliable. So uh, the original implementation of cryptocurrency on a blockchain is Bitcoin. And uh, one of the defining aspects of it is it's proof of work. So it's very difficult. Um, it's, it's, it's grounded to physical reality in the way that gold is grounded to physical reality. And that's really powerful. And uh, also it's powerful because no governments uh, can control it. And so there's a- There's a finite amount of it. And there's a finite amount of it. So, so the scarcity is enforced. So it's going to hold its value. There's a lot of nice properties to it. And then uh, the negative side is the, the transactions are very slow and expensive. And there's there's a few others, like uh, another co-founder of Ethereum is uh, Charles Hoskinson, who created Cardano. That's a very interesting piece of technology um, also. So they're, they're, I would say there's smart contracts, which is ways to use the blockchain to make agreements between people, like exchange assets or do like, you know, the same kind of contracts you do between people. So that's really right. interesting. There's uh, uh, there's moving away from the proof of work, which requires you to use a lot of uh, resources. Explain that, explain proof of work. When you said it grounds Bitcoin to the physical reality, explain proof of work. So proof of work, you have to solve a cryptographic puzzle on a computer. So a computer has to do a really hard thing for a long time to solve it. And so you have to have a, a giant, number of computers doing a giant, giant number of computations. So just, that's why it takes all this energy. It takes all of this energy. Yeah. But that's why it's very difficult to fake. It, it's very difficult for um, a large number of people to get together and say, we're gonna create a bunch of fake Bitcoin. So this this really grounds it. You, you always have to come back to this mining effort of performing the computation. There's another- Now, what is it? Is it a math problem, essentially? It's a math. It's a simple math problem. You just have to do a lot of it. Um, Elon made some news by saying it needs to be a greener, more environmentally friendly process. This yeah. was maybe last year. Yeah. So what the Bitcoins will say, what the Bitcoin folks will say is, yes, it's not environmentally friendly, but the benefit you get far outweighs the cost. So there's a lot of stuff we do that's not environmentally friendly. Driving cars, eating meat, and their argument is like, well, the benefit to society is much higher than the cost it has to the environment. Right. So like, don't don't just find a boogeyman um, just because you want, it, it, they just see it as another way to attack Bitcoin. Okay. But yes, it's bad for the environment, but 
So are a lot of things. Absolutely. Is the argument that would make because this has the opportunity to revolutionize the monetary system across the world. So one of the downsides of um, the way money is used in the world is used by governments to control the populace. That's right. There's a lot of people that talk about authoritarian regimes that um, that that you know use inflation, you use money to control people, and so Bitcoin allows to you to start wars, to start wars, to do everything. And so to fund gain of function research into diseases yeah. that then leak out. Yeah. Okay. Allegedly. 